Hey guys, Tim from Tim's Tiny Arcade, and today I got another package that I got on eBay just because I can't get a lot of the games uh, anymore that I want for my system. So I'm going to show you guys what game I got, and we'll do a little gameplay on it and something special that goes along with this game also. And you're watching Tim's Tiny Arcade, Mother Effer. Alright guys, let's open the package and see what game I got. I ended up getting Robotron 2084 uh, for the Atari 7800. This is a game I've been looking for because I've had a Atari 7800 for a little while. Um, love the system um, this game is actually a twin stick shooter but uh, it's kind of hard to play uh, two joysticks on the 7800 but I want to show you something else really special that goes along with this right, guys so I wanted to show you guys this um, you guys go what is that this is uh, it's got a, it's a mold with uh, you know two slots and two uh, square slots I was at a local video game store quick story and I was looking for Robotron uh, 2084 for the 7800 because they had it, but I guess they had sold it. He said all we have was this, but we were going to throw it away. That's what the store was going to do, throw this away. It's just plastic. I mean, it's not, it's, it's fairly sturdy. And I go, so what is that? And he goes, I think it's for Robotron. He wasn't for sure. Um, and he was right. You can set an Atari 2600 controller. The cord goes right there. You can set two of them in there. Let me set another one in there to show you guys kind of what it looks like. So, and on the Atari 7800, you can actually use these controllers instead of the Atari 7800 controllers. So you can use the Atari 2600 controllers. So I took this piece of plastic before they trashed it. Now, it's, it's kind of light, so let me slide that over. I end up making, let me actually just move that off. A wooden box. Now I'm not the craftsman. I put this on the front, Robotron, but this is a wooden box out of some scrap wood. Nothing fancy. And I painted it black and uh, had the idea of then setting the controllers in there just like that. So I got nothing in this, just a little time and uh, just printed this off this Robotron sign off the computer and uh, just glued it on there. And it, I thought it turned out pretty nice. And I will show you guys a little bit of gameplay of me playing Robotron with the, t the twin sticks. Okay guys, so uh, this is how I kind of play when I play it. I just set it kind of, I just got these uh, bar stool chairs in here and I just kind of set it on here and I set it on a bar stool. So let's go ahead and uh, choose a game. So I'm running with the left, shooting with the right, you know, it, on the 7800. I mean, it feels so much like the arcade. This is what this game was designed to be. I mean, you can play this, I believe, with one controller, but you have to point what direction you're going. But yeah, this is awesome, and I, like I said, I got nothing in it and save this from going in the junk and uh this is the way robotron is supposed to be played and i just love playing robotron on the 7800 this is a really good port of the game hey guys so that was my video today on uh my uh robotron purchase and how i uh end up getting these uh this plastic case and then building this just kind of wanted to show you guys you know you find, you, someone might think something's junk, but to you it might be a treasure, and I absolutely love this. So what do you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comments, and until next time, guys, I will talk to everybody later.